Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to remove unwanted toolbars from your browser. I'll be showing you how to do it in Google Chrome. If you're wondering how to do it in Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer, uh, I'll put a link in the description that'll show you how to do that. Uh, but it's almost the same thing basically. Uh, on your screen you should be seeing a list of the most common of these toolbars. Um, if you have any of these toolbars uh, you should probably get them removed um, and that, that goes uh, towards pretty much every toolbar uh, out there because they can be a pain uh, they can track your browsing history and uh, change your home screen and stuff like that it's annoying basically um, and in this video I'll be showing you how to remove them first of all you should uh, open your control panel you'll find this by uh, the easiest way is by going into per pressing the uh, windows key and uh, simply writing control panel and then pressing that. Here you'll uh, want to uh, choose the programs trap, uh, uh, tab and uh, press remove a program. Um, you should be seeing a list of programs. If you have any idea of the toolbar you should probably know its name by now. Uh, one of the examples is uh, the Babylon toolbar uh, which in itself is a pain. Uh, if you have the Babylon toolbar for example you should check the uh, program list for that and then you should uh, basically press it and uh, remove it. Now, once you've done that, uh, you can move on to the next step. And here we're going into the browser. Uh, here we have uh, Google Chrome. And um, what you'll want to do now is press these four lines up here, or three lines, <laughs> sorry. And then uh, press settings. Uh, in the settings, you'll want to press the show advanced settings. And then you'll want to scroll down to the very bottom. Uh, and press reset settings. Once you press reset, uh, your browser will go back to the way it was when you downloaded it. Um, but you're not completely problem free yet, <laughs> unfortunately. Next, uh, you'll want to download the program ADW Cleaner. I'll put a link uh, in the description uh, of where you can download that. Uh, this is uh, a program that will take care of registry cre registry registry wow I can't say that word uh, but basically it'll take care of the uh, the remains um, of the toolbar. Uh, there are also other pro programs that'll do this, but um, this is the one that I've found works the best. Once you've downloaded it, you'll want to open it up like so. And uh, basically what you do is you press uh, scan, it'll uh, take a while, you should uh, remove all or uh, you should close all uh, browsers and, and programs uh, once you're scanning, um, as otherwise it won't work properly. Uh, and once you've scanned and found the, uh, the things giving you the problem so to speak, the remains, uh, you can pre play, press clean and it'll uh, it'll basically remove them then you'll have to restart your computer and uh, then it'll come up with the uh, with a notepad file stating what it has removed um, and then you should be out of it you should be in the clear now if that doesn't work uh, there are other programs uh, as I've said there'll be a link in the description on uh, where to find these uh, and what these are, I can re recommend uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, which is uh, basically a program that can run beside your um, regular antivirus program, uh, and it works really well, and it's able to pick up uh, basically most of these th threads. So uh, definitely give that a go, uh, and um, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you. Uh, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help a lot. And um, if you have any problems, uh, and if you're still experiencing problems after doing this, uh, please uh, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do.